Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching more Looney Tunes show. And if you want us to watch more Looney Tunes, then get this video to 10,000 likes. And we're streaming this video on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv. Spell in the milk. Click the link in the description and come watch us live. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Support us on Patreon for the exclusive versions of these videos. Thank you. Peel of Fortune. <laughs> Why is it called Peel of Fortune? Well, it's like a torture technique where you peel off their skins slowly. You get a free circumcision if you win the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's like a Mongolian torture tactic. No more underwear, huh? No more underwear! Oh! <laughs> what are you covering, Daffy? You got nothing. We can all see your corkscrew dick in every episode. It's fully illustrated and uncensored. Name? Address? Gender? What is this, Soviet Russia? <laughs> what is this, Soviet Russia? Oh my god, Daffy's a libertarian. Now hot fudge. Uh, only on the vanilla and chocolate. Put regular fudge on the strawberry. Jesus fucking Christ. Daffy's the worst person ever. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. But both no red sprinkles. If you have ever worked a service job, this is just stress. This is wh why the McDonald's employees say the ice cream machine is broken, dude. <laughs> I guess this is pretty cool because it's like preparing all the kids are watching the show. It's preparing them for their lives. This is what you can look forward to. Serving people like Daffy Duck. Where do you get all your money? I invented the carrot peeler. I think they actually have said this multiple times in the show, though. I don't remember him mentioning it, but that's great. What the fuck? They're about to be what? executed. They went to Afghanistan and almost got assaulted. Assaulted? I think that was murder. Dude, this is like the Rick and Morty house where Rick is in their garage making all funny sorts of contraptions. <laughs> Daffy Duck's equally sized bread pieces. Dude, he, he literally made sliced bread. bread. You know, after you've gone to the bathroom, you sometimes wish you had something to help you. You know, clean up. Like a flushable paper product of some sort. What? Daffy, are you telling me that you don't use toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What an insane reveal. Once again, it pays to have invented the carrot peeler. He gets seventeen fifty every month for inventing the carrot peeler. That's insane. That's not even that much money. He's a homeowner. He needs way more. He has a house. Like he has to pay like taxes. Let's see what else he's got in here. <gasps> An automatic carrot peeler? Oh my god. That's just a pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's so evil. Like what? He's nefarious. The Thomas Edison arc, yeah, true. <laughs> oh my god. You could peel carrots at super speed, leaving more time for you and your beautiful daughter. Weird. He's a boy. Yes, of course. <laughs> the automatic carrot peeler is flying off the shelves. I'm not even gonna carry the old peeler anymore. Dude, no fucking way. Oh, he's making millions and Bugs is gonna kill himself. Oh, no one loses those anymore. No, no way. Yeah, how did he lose money that fast? Like, that's insane. He went broke instantly. What the <laughs> fuck? My man was living paycheck to paycheck. What? Is he smashing? Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> he opens the door and it's just him and Tina going at it. Daffy. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? This is just five dollar and one dollar. Bro's going crazy over like five hundred dollars right now. <laughs> My roof. <laughs> what the fuck? It's been like ten minutes. Like there was ten minutes in between those two cuts. What? No, now he he's the wage cut. Oh my god, I just realized this episode is just a Dar Man video. Literally. This is just a Dar Man video where all of Daffy's haters are now the ones being wages. When does Bugs go on? It's, yeah, this episode is called Peel of Fortune. Oh, because there's the, the carrot peel. I got it. You just got it? Just got it. Well, it's a clever joke that so I can understand. My old hole in the ground. How did I used to get into this thing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Classic. You moved back. Bugs Kid is literally rags to riches. Holes to goals, man. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Literally, started from the bottom of a fucking hole in the ground. Been thinking for a while and there's something I gotta tell you. <gasps> Yo, Lola song. Oh my gosh, she a baddie though. Oh my goodness, can I marry her? You're the reason that I have to keep my shades drawn. Oh, watch you through the chimney. <laughs> 
This is terrifying. I'm loving this. This song's kind of fire. The premise is cool. It's funny. Like, I like the song. What I did for five minutes with Lola Bunny. Oh, five minutes in heaven, man. They're highly flammable and extremely dangerous. That's impossible. I should know I'm the inventor. Why would you say that? Why would you're going to you're going to get sued? How I'm going to sue you for everything you've got. Oh my god, he's done. He's done for. I give it back. Just please come home and fix everything. Oh man, he's begging for his ex to come back. You have to do something. They're going to level the house. They're going to destroy the house is probably worth quite a bit of money. They're going to level it instantly. It's in good condition. What is it? A time machine. What? I did, what? That. I did not expect the episode to take that direction. No green sprinkles on the chocolate. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. What the hell in the Rick and at the beginning of the episode? I at the beginning of the episode I said you it's did. Rick and Morty, and what happened? It was Rick and Morty. We watched the most Rick and Morty episodes. It's on me. He pays for the meal, then Daffy doesn't have to get a job. What? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on a second. Did this just create a divergent timeline where Bugs disappeared from Daffy's world and Daffy's all by himself? Daffy got hit by the wrecking ball. No, Daffy died. Man, that was a great episode, but I sure am hungry. Er, I'm really hungry. I really, really wish I had a pre-made meal that I could get from Factor. <laughs> God, <laughs> Cor sure is lucky. What did you get, Cor, from Factor Meals, today's sponsor? I got the loaded bacon and shredded chicken. Uh, <laughs> Epic bacon? Yo, that was hella convenient because Factor be cutting out the stressful meal planning. You ain't got to prepare nothing. You just look in your fridge or your freezer. You pull it out. You microwave it. It's simple. 100%. It's easy. And it saves a lot of time because we're streaming, reacting all day. I mean, I've been eating rocks recently, but I really wasn't getting enough protein in my diet. But the awesome thing is Factor lets you select and sort by whatever dietary needs that you happen to have. If you're looking to cut calories, and still have something tasty to eat or if you're trying to put on some gains and get more protein in your meals go to our <laughs> link down below go.factor75.com and use the code factor se37021 give us a better code next time thank you <laughs> you can get 50 percent off your first box which is like really that's a really good deal that is a great deal too bad bugs can't ever come bowling with us but he's got those darn singing lessons why does he want one-on-one -on -one with porky i would i would imagine it's like porky's really bad at bowling so daffy plays against him just so he can feel good about himself uh... hey daffy Oh, Daffy's the king at the bowling alley? Something about that weirdly fits, that the one place he's well-liked is a bowling alley. W well, what do you mean by- what are you saying about people who go bowling? Well, there's something about bowling that's just, like, fundamentally really lame. There's more where that came from! There's more where that came from, right? I, I'm sorry, I still can't get over the bowling slander that just came out of your mouth. I have a bowling pin right here that I got at my seventh birthday, okay? What?! <laughs> oh my goodness. How good is he? He's mid. Okay. He sucks. Well, if it isn't Daffy Duck. I was right. Yeah. <laughs> Never bowl against someone with that hairline. Receding hairline white dudes just have the, the best bowling skills. I'm sorry. Is Porky goaded? Oh, Porky's so bad at the game. all going all the way back. Are you kidding? Does that even count as, like, can you just bowl again? I'm pretty sure you, in this situation, you would just bowl again. What's going on? I told them both conflicting lies, and now it's all falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, now I know why he doesn't Yeah, want now we know why. Bugs is the goat. I finally managed to cobble together a circle of friends so pitiful that I'm the cool one and you're blowing it for me. Did we understand the <laughs> psychology behind Daffy Duck that we were able to, like, guess his motivation behind the episode in, like, the first three minutes? That guy's good. He's the newest member of my team. He's jacked. Jesus fucking... Now how are we going to win the tournament? <laughs> Ah! He's keying their fucking car. What an asshole. You said the training begins at 7 a.m. The training began at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. This is like the guy that LinkedIn that goes like, I purposely show up three hours late to my group interviews to see who's still there, to see who really wants it. To see who's about that grind. You need to become the bowling ball.
Daffy's totally getting into hustle sure. culture. Daffy does feel like my Uber driver that pulls up in the Tesla and talks to me about his startup. Porky, if you I'm jealous of bugs, but I hate Terry. He's talking out loud. I'm jealous of bugs. He's right behind you. It's like having to choose one child over the other. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's not a good person. Also have a pretty man. I'm gonna have a headache. Help. This is the worst song. Worst song contender. Whoa. Oh my good. Oh my Whoa. God. Oh my damn. Oh my oh goodness. My goodness. Oh. goodness. Even Sylvester was looking, bro. Well, Sylvester's a dog, right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen whatever it is before. But look at it. Only one. We have the silver foxes led by their team captain. Granny. What? This is like a shonen anime. Like, all the characters that we've met prior are participating. Even Granny is here. That's crazy. This is a Hunter Hunter volleyball tournament. This is going to be a long night. Whoa! Montage! Oh my goodness, this is, so this is like regular show. Yeah, this is, feels a lot like regular show. Why are you flexing in a tournament? That's a fucking dick move. Cora, I hate to break it to you, but not everyone has sportsmanship. Let's go! Man, bowling has never looked cooler. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm a bowling stan right now. I fuck with bowling. Is it gonna like throw the game or something? Whoa! Why would he throw? Daffy does not deserve any sympathy here. Okay? He's such a piece of shit throughout this entire episode. 100% he's about a gutter ball. I'm betting 10, 10 bucks. 10 ducks. I'm betting 10k on this. 10 ducks. He gets a gutter ball here. <laughs> it's not even close. It's not even close. Do hold on. I'm getting word that there's been a technical error. What? Any technical error results in an automatic redo. He's gonna miss it again. <laughs> He's gonna miss it again. Wait. I have to do it. Oh my god. It's gonna be another gutter. He's gonna miss it. There's all this buildup. He's gonna miss it again. I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> they reused the same animation. <laughs> Fucking Christ! So much build up. Oh, yo, Granny! She's gonna get a strike. Strike easy. There you go. What if it was just silence and him just hitting the gutter over and over? Like, that's this entire after credit scene. Just needed my lucky ball! What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? The dinner party we're having, so you can apologize to all of our neighbors. Oh God, what did he do this time? He bombed their entire neighborhood. And for what you did on Columbus Day. On Columbus Day, <laughs> Daffy killed all the natives. Newspaper! It's been stolen. I'm surprised Daffy can read, to be honest. <laughs> that is very shocking. Maybe he just looks at the comics. Yeah, I was about to say, he just looks at the pictures. I don't think he actually reads. He's like, ooh, that's a pretty Marmaduke. Let's see. I came out here to get my newspaper. He took his Wait, coffee. he stole his he coffee. He dropped it, broke it, and then took bugs. He did that so casually. Someone stole my newspaper. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> I do what normal people do with it. Day by day, slowly build a paper mache parade float. What? That's made of paper mache? I'm not in a parade. I am the parade. That's actually bars, what? though. Okay. That's that's a quotable line. What did you think? I was gonna start throwing accusations around? <laughs> what did he do to Granny? Like, Granny's literally the nicest character. Like, if anything ever happened to my woman, my beautiful Granny gilf of a woman, I would be extremely angry. I know you stole my newspaper. You're so shaper. <laughs> this entire show is just no characters being capable of understanding each other. I'm cheap and I steals things, but I am no thief. Said I steal things, but I am no thief. He's honest. You ought to respect the honesty. 
Oh my fucking god, Daffy. It's duck season, bro. We need to get a shotgun and take him out back. It's duck season. I think it's been duck season since episode one. This man, <laughs> he has caused all their problems. We need to get rid of him. How did it make him worse? This episode in particular, Daffy is just extremely insufferable. Like, I feel like it's genuinely too much at this point. Yeah. <laughs> this is a country song? Let's go. Okay. This is the only country song that isn't about, like, Jesus or, like, your truck. So, honestly, like, a top 10 country song. I can't believe I have to make another pie. He invited everybody over for the dinner party and made a fucking carrot pie? Yeah, everybody only gets like one spoon. And then Yosemite Sam's gonna show up with a giant spoon. How did you turn this into a vine reference? How did you um, turn that into oh, a vine reference? I have a unique set of skills where I could turn anything into a vine <laughs> reference. This episode kind of sucks. This episode would be really good if it just randomly turned into a situation where all of them start dying one by one and they have to find the killer. It's like a murder mystery, like who killed Daffy? <laughs> it's like a murder mystery, but no one cares who killed the person. Like they're not affected by it. It's a murder mystery where no one is invested at all. But what you don't know is that one of you is a thief. Oh, it is a murder mystery, but it, it's kind of. Ain't no numbers on these things. What? This is so last second, he didn't even have it ready. Who has the number five? I do. So do I. Oh my fucking. Open your eyes, Grandma. It's clearly a three. You're a three. She's a 10, bro. Do not give her a three out of 10. Do you want me to be a three? Yes, thank you. Yeah, she's more like a three. Now, who has the number three? They all have threes. What is this? Daffy isn't usually this stupid. This pissed me off. Like, he is stupid, but he's not this stupid. He does not have object permanence <laughs> in this episode. He writes out a three, and then he instantly forgets that he wrote down a three. Like, that's not what he has in other episodes. Daffy is literally, not like jokingly, literally acting like a toddler in this episode. Yes. You don't care about your neighbors. You're just scared one of them's gonna sue you. Oh my god. Just kick him out. At a certain point, you gotta kick the man out. I mean, carrot pie? Ever heard of carrot cake? That's an actual dessert. That's true. <laughs> I've never heard of carrot pie. Actually, thank you, Daffy, because I was complaining about the carrot pie this whole episode. Say you're sorry. Uh... You can't say it, can you? Dude, Bugs has totally snapped. Like, he does not care. He's like, whatever happens, happens. The expression on his face is so dead. I like him. <laughs> My life is so boring. This is sad. To be fair, remember in the canon, he went over to her house in the dating episode and he sat with her and he listened to her story. True. That's true. So she's got a pretty positive experience. <laughs> this episode feels so weird. Like it feels like off. Is it? Okay, so I'm not wrong for thinking that someone should have died in this episode. Yes, yeah, someone should have. It feels like someone's gonna die. How many renewal notices is that stupid newspaper going to send me oh my god i knew it i knew it was gonna be something like that i want to kill him i want to kill him i'm pretty sure if bugs killed him they would go to court and the jury would be like it's fine dude like it's chill like we get it bro they make every jury member binge the looney tune show <laughs> and if you guys want us to binge the rest of the show get this video to 10,000 likes and check out our patreon for exclusive content including the uncut and uncensored version of this video thank you to our patrons Thank you, Adonis Schultz, Sun God the Last, Cosmic Dega, Brendan Madigan, Noah Holiday, Pigeon Witch, A Timely Jest, Communism is When No iPhone, Lilac Moon, and Widowers. Thank you so much.